Hello, my name is Brett Peterson. I'm a gastroenterologist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Today's topic is common bile duct stones, which are a fairly common malady in our practice. The bile ducts are those tubes or the plumbing that carries bile from the liver down to the duodenum or the first part of the small intestine. There's a side branch of the bile ducts that goes over to the gallbladder. Most folks are familiar with the concept of gallbladder stones, which are really quite common, occurring in 20% of women and up to 10% of men in the Western world and the United States. Stones in the bile ducts are much less common, perhaps one-tenth as common as that, and the majority of them come from the gallbladder where they initially were formed. So common duct stones may be relatively silent, like gallbladder stones can be silent, but more often they'll cause discomfort, sometimes of a subtle nature and sometimes of a very severe nature with right upper quadrant pain, occasionally fever or chills if there's associated infection, and often with abnormal liver tests or imaging. Common bile duct stones are diagnosed by a suspicion based upon the symptoms and presentation or the finding of abnormal labs, plus the discovery of uh, abnormal bile ducts based on ultrasound of the abdomen, sometimes based on the CT scan. They're confirmed usually and treated at the same time by performance of a procedure called ERCP. This is an endoscopic procedure where we use an endoscope the size of a little finger through the mouth down to the stomach and a little bit beyond the stomach into the uh, duodenum. About three or four inches downstream from the stomach we find a, a small lump or what we call a papilla is a structure that looks like a nipple that protrudes into the intestine. There's a small pinhole at the bottom of that papilla where we slide a plastic tube into the opening and squirt some x-ray dye up to the duct towards the gallbladder if it's still there and into the liver. Then the x-rays show us a silhouette or a road map of the ducts and where there may be blockages or contents that shouldn't be there like stones. So if stones are discovered they're usually readily treated by performance of a sphincterotomy. This is a small incision using an electrical wire guided by visual observation during endoscopy. Uh, the incision changes that pinhole drain site into an opening the size of a pencil. We can then reach up into the bile ducts with a variety of balloons, baskets, and other tools to remove the stones. This is usually straightforward and accomplished uh, in an efficient fashion over 20 to 45 minutes or an hour if it's challenging to enter the duct. Some folks have lots of stones or very big stones and some stones are located in difficult locations up inside the ducts within the liver, sometimes above a narrowing in the duct we call a stricture. So on occasion stones are more difficult to remove and occasionally require performance of balloon dilation of the opening or of tight spots occasionally require performance of mechanical crushing of the stones up inside the duct with a tool called a lithotripter. And occasionally we need to use what sometimes are referred to as baby scopes to go up inside the duct where we can visualize the stones and fracture or fragment them with lasers or other electrohydraulic shocking probes and then clear out the pieces. The great majority of the time, patients have their stones removed and do quite well, but there is some risk of stone recurrence, particularly in folks with very dilated ducts. That might occur in up to uh, 10 to 20 percent of patients. And other folks who have stones can occasionally present in a more serious fashion with associated infection, we refer to as cholangitis, typically associated with fever and chills, plus jaundice, plus uh, pain in the right upper quadrant. That's managed in the very same fashion, but with a slightly greater degree of urgency and with associated antibiotics. So, if you have questions or concerns or family and patient concerns about uh, bile duct stones, uh, we're happy to help address them here at the Mayo Clinic. We have a multidisciplinary team of physicians and surgeons and radiologists who deal with these kinds of problems and address them on a daily basis. Thank you.